your general and Oracle Love Tarot reading for June 2016. Okay, so the first card is the Four of Air along with the Tower and Three of Water along with Ace of Swords. So what I'm getting here, and I also am speaking to the tree outside my window. Um, I do happen to speak with nature and I get messages from uh, nature also. So what I'm getting here is um, there's some cancellation that you had planned, okay? I'm getting some kind of trip or vacation and uh, perhaps this was with someone that you care for deeply and it seems like they backed out on you. Uh, but I feel that you're going to go ahead and perhaps rearrange this trip and take it anyways, but you're not going the time that you were gonna go. Um, or it could be that you find someone else to go with you because you can't get your money back. Uh, you already planned um, this trip and you know you got a special and there's just no way you can get your money back. So that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting too that maybe the trip was canceled uh, due to someone getting sick. But I do feel that eventually you will take the trip and it will all work out to, uh, you know, to your advantage. Um, so uh, let's see what else Spirit is saying through these cards here that I laid. Um, there is, I'm getting a wedding. Wedding is coming to me. June wedding. Yes, that's nice. Uh, that's going to be beautiful. I see it just um, blossoming and everything going smoothly. I'm also getting a move. Perhaps you lost the lease or you've been given 30 days to, to move and so you're frantic because you're looking for, you, for a place and you haven't found uh, the right place for your situation at this time. But I feel like in June, you will. Okay, right now it feels like the end of the world, but things are going to get better, um, you know, as you move in through June. I feel that you will find a place. Um, I think that you have to move by the end of June is what I'm getting. I'm also getting someone, some house uh, or apartment caught on fire. Ugh. That is not cool, Spirit. Uh, I feel like there has been a loss. And, uh, you know, of course you have to move. Um, I'm also getting that there was a loss loss where um, you didn't have insurance. Um, or you could have had insurance, but maybe this place was historical or meant a lot to you. And now it's gone. And so... Um, you know, you are just devastated by this. Okay. Let me see what else here we got going. Spirit, what are the messages for Capricorn June 2016? Well, I'm getting a relationship. I think that through April it was really rocky. Um, there were some arguments and I'm getting somebody feels displaced like just upside down and so um, I'm also getting too that there were plans for a marriage and that fell through I'm getting this is not happening in the United States that this is happening abroad uh, and this is disappointing for sure. I'm so sorry, but it looks like um, family stepped in on this and decided that it was not a good fit. Uh, this also could be someone who has been going through uh, in, an emotional roller coaster or uh, an abusive relationship to where um, they're just upside down, don't know what to do, don't know how to get out of it. But I feel that I'm getting family again. I feel like family stepping in to assist. 
I'm also getting something in business. Now, this could be either you uh, formed a partnership and all of a sudden that's fallen through or you found out that the person that you are partnering with all of a sudden isn't being honest with you or hasn't been honest with you, but suddenly you find out this and um, this pretty much upsets you and you've already kind of, you know, moved forward to where you're going to charter out on your own. Uh, I do feel that you will be successful on your own. I don't feel that you actually need a partner. We got the Eight of Water with the Page of Swords. King of Water with the Transition card. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm 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 feeling that someone ended a relationship a long time ago, like I'm getting a year or two ago, and has maybe been in and out of relationships, but they were not long lasting. And what I'm feeling here is you had some sort of awakening or some you know deja vu or something uh, that I'm feeling from you that um, you kind of figured it out and I feel that you're moving forward um, I feel that you're going through that transition phase and when you come out of it Capricorn you're going to feel like a brand new person and I feel right after that you will begin a healthy vibrant relationship I feel like you've been depressed quite often here and I, I'm feeling that you recognize this and you're going to perhaps step forward and do something about it. I, I just feel like your heart is closed, like it's not open. Like I feel walls around your heart. You know, here's a suggestion, you know, maybe you want to work like do some charity work or some work uh, you know give your time to animals like rescue or some place where because uh, animals are so healing just I feel like you need to be around animals uh, to heal now maybe you already have a dog or a cat but I feel like you need to do more and by working with some of these rescue or adoption centers might make you feel really really good um, just kind of get you out of the mood and the depressed feeling you've been feeling over uh, something you've lost uh, quite a long time ago and have really tried to move on with your life but yet I don't feel like you're going back to the person that you were with a year or two ago I just feel like you are just going to uh, keep moving on and I feel a transitional phase for you but I just feel like you need to work around animals now this could be for many Capricorns or just a few. Um, the other messages I'm getting here is um, a, uh, well, I'm getting love here, but let's see what's coming from this. Wow, the wheel. I love the wheel. Uh, yeah, there's something developing here. I feel like you met this person at work. Um, I can see you going out, having a few drinks, and uh, really having a good communication with this person. Uh, I feel that the two of you will really continue on uh, and continue to, um, you know, see each other. And I do feel like there's some discretion that needs to be uh, followed. You know, don't let too many people know um, because sometimes gossip can happen. But I feel the two of you are finally together. And, uh, you know, when it gets to the stage of perhaps engagement or whatever, you can let people know. Uh, I already know that there's three people that know about this already. So, <laughs> anyways. Okay, let me just go ahead and pull some love cards. Um, pretty much spirit isn't talking that much on what I've laid here 
I've already shuffled and cut these cards, by the way. Well, I feel uh, quite a few of you may actually start relationships with soulmates. I mean, really um, strong soulmates, uh, whether they be karmic or true love or, you know, well, soulmates, you know, we're very drawn to them. But I feel that um, one of them, or I feel someone's soulmate here, is on the verge of something. What is that spirit? On the verge of... Oh, they're actually on the verge of having a divorce. But Spirit is saying go slow because the person needs to complete, finish um, the un, you know, the, their unfinished business with the divorce. And you don't want to get so wrapped up into that to where uh, it hurts you. I'm also getting to that... Um, I'm getting someone meeting someone on a journey... On a trip what's that about I'm getting okay I'm getting sand I'm getting a hotel on the beach you just happen to meet you run into each other and um, you exchange phone numbers and you, um, I do see that this uh, relationship becomes quite active. Now, Spirit is throwing out a red flag here. I'm not sure if this person is married or committed to someone else, perhaps even being engaged. So just make sure you know what you're getting into. That's what I'm getting from Spirit. Uh, I've got a Spirit there's a spirit that just came in here. His name is Bob. Bob. I don't know if he's still here, alive, or if he's crossed over. No, he said he's crossed over. Okay, he passed away from cancer. I'm getting the name Terry. I feel that Terry was his mate, or there's some T in the name here, but I don't know why they just mentioned something about Terry. Anyways, uh, he passed away from cancer. I do believe his lover or uh, husband, either his name is Terry or it starts with a T, or there's a Terry involved somewhere here. Uh, he, does miss, miss his, he does miss his mate. Uh, he just recently crossed over and he has a message that, um, well, he's holding his arms open. Now, he's not calling you to the other side. He just wants to embrace you with his spirit. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. So sorry. Anyways, um, okay, so I do, uh, what else do I want to, what else am I getting here, spirit? Come on. I'm getting some stubbornness here that some of you Capricorns have been just been in situation and are being a little bit hard-headed or stubborn uh, regarding um, mistakes. I'm getting mistakes. Treatment. Like perhaps maybe you were you felt like you weren't treated well and so therefore you are uh, completely closed off from this person. And Spirit says there can be a truce between the two of you. Uh, but it does have to, um, it does need some work. Okay, so the, sp the the tree is swaying really big time on this. So that was a definite approval. You know, trees are amazing. You know, the elements are just so powerful. And trees, sometimes they can sway, depending on the tree it is, or ruffle the feathers to where feathers, I mean the leaves, to where it uh, can actually work like a pendulum. It's, it's amazing. So, uh, the tree like that. What else, Spirit, do we want to give Capricorn for June 2016? Okay, well, Spirit's kind of quiet here. 
Anyways, let's pull three Whispers of Love cards and Well, Spirit is confirming that um, the first card here is get to know each other. So I, I feel like it's not about sharing what you like or dislike, but it's more like meeting another's need for love, like merging together, if that makes sense. It's really a strong point and it's very important in a relationship in order for it to keep growing. I'm also getting I love you card. These are very important words, so perhaps you need to express them more. I know sometimes Capricorn, I have a moon in Capricorn, I know sometimes that when we're hurt or we're just feeling down or low self-esteem, we get really closed off at the heart level and put up the walls and the protection walls and you know, I love you. Uh, doesn't seem to flow as smoothly. So Spirit is saying, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Spirit's saying, just say it. Okay, so just say it. Uh, say it and mean it. But don't expect anything back in return. Okay, the last card is ask for help. So maybe you have been asking for help, but you're not sure exactly what you need help on. Or you know what you need help on, but Spirit's saying you actually can do it yourself. But also what I'm getting too is some of you are being really stubborn and really need to ask for friends or family support uh, or even support from your mate. Like you've kind of closed down here and you should be willing to allow yourself uh, the support you need. Just allow it to happen. Okay? It's, you know, if you're, if you're asking help from someone who wants to always get paid money for helping you, or want something in return, then that is not the person you want help from. Okay, the tree is agreeing on this. That is just not the help you want. Okay? Anyways, Capricorn, great reading for you. If you want a personal reading, you can reach, reach me at www.transformationandempowerment.com. It's all one word. And don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. I wish you a wonderful June. Chin up. Things will get better. Much love and blessings.